Now in this video, let's take a look at how you can know your iPad screen size. Let's get started. So this is what you need to know. Obviously you have an iPad, perhaps you don't know how large the screen is. So what you need to do is to locate the settings app and from the settings, make sure you find the general section. So it's right there and a tap on about, which is going to give you all of the important information about your iPad. So what we are looking after is the exact model name. So for me, it tells me that this is the iPad Pro 11 inch model in a third generation. So once I know that information, I can go to Safari and go to a brand new uh, tab. And what I'm going to type in is compare iPad models. And what this does is that it shows me the official apple.com website where you have the ability to know everything about every iPad. So in here, you can compare it, but just select it for one iPad. We established that my model is the 11 inch third generation iPad Pro. So this is exactly the iPad which I currently own. When I click on this, obviously I don't need to care about any other iPads, but this one right here, which I have, I can scroll down and see that my display is 11 inch in a size. So that's really useful. Obviously it is already part of the little description there. So that's pretty, if, if you need just that, you already have that in the settings. But if you scroll down a bit more, you get to the dedicated display section. So you can read the exact PPI and the resolution and the max brightness, the coding, if it's laminated or not, if it's reflective, if we have the ProMotion, which is the, you know, the smooth looking display. So yeah, plenty of different options. You just need to know uh, which exactly uh, generation of the iPad you have. And with that information, you can literally find out everything about it. Obviously, there are other places where you can get the information, but right now we are on the official Apple website. So I believe it to be the most reliable or the best way where you can find the info. So let me know below in the comments if you have more thoughts or questions about this topic specifically. Subscribe for more tutorials and guides like this one, and I'm going to talk to you later.